we are just having a walk around of uh, Gethin's Cleo and uh, I've had one of these Cleos in the past and everyone always comments on that butt that tick <laughs> but it's the booty <laughs> the booty, that's the one, yeah nice so we just come around the side we've got the 17 inch wheels with uh, the red Brembo brakes on the front wrapped around uh, 808R tyres which are really the best tyres to put on these cars there is no better tyre if you use it on the road and the track there's no better tyre than an 808R he's got the, uh, the nice Recaros on the inside these do hold quite a premium with regards to price yes they all do that they all have a bolster way don't they? Mine was starting to go the same. We've got the cup spoiler. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the sort of standard parts that these cars come with. Now over to Geffen to tell us what's different about his uh, Clio. Yeah. It's got a custom exhaust system by K-Tech. Uh, one of their in-house manufactured ones. Um, obviously I bought the car how it is. Then on the engine, it's just the standard reduction kit from k -Tech. I had that one as well. Yeah, which keeps it looking pretty standard. Yeah. If you get pulled by the police, it shouldn't have a problem. Yep. It's got the H&R lowering springs. I'm not sure if it's 25. I can't, I, I'm not sure if the lights are standard. I think they were upgraded. Yeah, they are actually. They're an upgrade. They don't come as standard in the UK with um, the projector beams. I don't know why. They they put them on like the one litres and that, but then when it comes to the 200, they get the halogen lights. What's that all about? Yeah, Does it make sense a, to me? It's got a HID kit then. Yeah. On your... To run the beams. Yeah. I'm not sure what it's actually got on there, but... Yeah. What ones they are. And uh, Renault were kind enough both with Geffen and me, yeah. to, at around about this 60,000 mile point, they actually give you a, a blown third to fourth synchro free of charge. So, you're yeah. very happy about that, aren't you? Very. Yeah, Who well, like nice of Renault that is, really kind of a mouse. Yeah. Right, so how will we go for a spin? Yeah, why not? Feels like an on-off switch, doesn't it? It's 
is constantly working its way up like well i like this car because it's like naturally aspirated yeah you're not waiting for like a turbo <clears throat> to kick in some ways the, the way it delivers the power is just nice and it's perfect for a track car it's just no, there's no debate in the track scene but these hatchbacks these clios are one of the best handling cars you can get you know they're just monsters and especially now with the tuning scene taking off you can put like Megane engines in turbo engines so even if you didn't like the fact it was 200 horsepower and you wanted that more power like the chassis can handle it and you, you have options to take you further yeah you got the different problems with that <coughs> in the form of if you're going to do a obviously if you're doing an engine conversion you don't have to worry about gearbox because you put in the gearbox in as yeah. well turbo this car gearbox can't no, because the power delivery then is supposed to upgrade the cams as well. Yeah. And then with the supercharger, the gearbox is fine. It's recommended you upgrade the, the gearbox, <laughs> but they do highly recommend upgrading the cams if you supercharge it. <laughs> yeah. Which hopefully I'll do one of the three. Yeah, having gone down the turbo custom route, I'd probably say if you can stick with like factory Megane parts. Yeah. You're gonna get the reliability. Well, because this Renault were a lot better at sticking a turbo in an engine than I am. Yeah. For example. <laughs> the good thing about this, you can. So if I go into third, and then put your foot. So I enjoyed that little uh, ride in Geffen's Creo 200. Yeah. It's nice to uh, refresh my memory because uh, although I had one for a while, it's been some time and yeah. I forgot just how good they are. Like They're just fun. Yeah, they're quite planted. They're really planted. And uh, also check out Geffen's Instagram. What was it again? Uh, Geffen Dibber. All right, cheers. And I'll put that in the description. Uh, he's going to be posting his pictures and his build on the, the Creo. Yeah. So uh, yeah, give them a follow and uh, thanks for taking us out. All good. We should buy another one. <laughs> <laughs>